Two weeks ago, I was sitting on, on stage, reading a poem. Oh, on to the second page when I saw her enter. Looking so fine, about 25 in age. I paused, not because of a full stop, but she stopped. <laughs> My jaw dropped, almost salivated, because this girl looked so great. <laughs> on to the next verse, and the way she had me stuttering, it's like I never rehearsed. I put my speech in reverse and dropped that line again because fuck up seemed to be my new best friend. <laughs> I could get through two words but I had trouble with the third. This is the most true the thing I ever heard. As Nari would say, this was fine form of femininity. And the presence of this girl was definitely bothering me. As much as I tried to impress this impress, I was distressed by the way that her dress hugged her body. Girl blew my cool like a 12 gay shotty. Blew me away like a hurricane. This mist knocked me down like a combination of an Ali and Holofew fist. A coat bottle never had a body shape like this. Lips that look too good to kiss and so full that if you attempted to, damn, you will never miss. Although she looked left, I swear her eyes were looking right at me. And though she wasn't dressed up, she looked fashionable in the first simplicity. Verse 3 came with a lot of turbulence, and I tried to hide the grown interest that was in my pants. <coughs> As she moved to the bar, I thought to myself that this had gone too far. Rushed through verse 4, saw her standing by the door, wondering if she was paying me attention anymore. I thought to myself, only two verses more. Finally stumbled and rumbled my way to the end of my presentation. Exit stage, left without hesitation. Eyes raining on this girl like crazy precipitation. Took a deep breath. Ready to approach and work my magic. But as I was ready myself, another guy walked up to catch this delicious dish of fine fried fish. <laughs> I wish I didn't hesitate so much. Thought to myself I'll wait till she was almost alone and perhaps try again for the first time. No doubt, I'm sure she'll be mine, if not for life, at least for the night. In the background, DJ playing this, this taboo, and in my mind, I'm saying, baby, that is you. She saw me from the corner of her eye, and I tried to play cool like that double-O spy. Simply smooth guy, Mr. Elegance, call me Mr. Smooth, but not like that radio guy. We have more cool to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, she's free and I make my way over, feeling luckier than a four-leaf clover. One step at a time, left foot, then right. She's ten feet away, but the walk seemed to take the whole night. Finally, in earshot, we started to converse. I spoke second, she spoke first. Hi, how are you doing? I'm fine, I replied. Her silky bites tickled my ear, I swear. I now know the sound of perfection. I waited a little time and get her straight to the point. Spitted some talk to her how she lit up the joint. Blah, 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 and some of that abstract shit. I spoke some good stuff, but right now I really can't remember it. <laughs> Thought things were going well. She seemed to be digging me. Before I knew what was what, it was already 3.30. Doors closed, not bar making last call. Wonder if I'm gonna get any action tonight at all. She then stood up and kissed me on the cheek. Gotta go now, but we can continue next week. Same time, same place, don't be late. As she leaned over to give me another kiss, I heard a voice say, Wake up, you can miss the bus. You always want to sleep. You always want to rush. <laughs> Thank you very much.